But guys, can I show you a preview of my next course? Is that okay? I actually want your guys' feedback on it. I am working on my next full course and it's all about web app pen testing. So that's what I wanna give you guys a preview of real quick and honestly get your feedback on anything that you want me to cover that I might be missing. The goal of this course is I wanna take someone from very much beginner level when it comes to web app pen testing. And by the end of this course, I want you to be confident enough and skilled enough to be able to perform web app pen testing from like the perspective of a junior web pen tester that someone can give you a web app and you can confidently dig in and do a full web app pen test on it. That is my goal when you are done with this course. The curriculum is mostly built if you can see it over here. So the welcome to the course is kind of your basic stuff. I should also mention if you've ever taken my courses, they're all video based. So it's full video of me teaching and then labs into it as well. So it fully um, integrates with the Hacksmarter platform. So there'll be private labs in the course that you do. It's not just theory, it's all hands-on. But I have the curriculum built so far. So I have the welcome to the course, you know, your, your standard stuff. Then I go into web app basics. And what I mean by that is I think a lot of people dive into web app pen testing without actually understanding fully how web apps actually work. So we'll talk about the client server model, request response cycles, understanding the client side. I'm gonna throw a lab in there. Just, I'm going to break down what an HTTP request is, what it looks like, what the headers and stuff mean. Same with the response. We'll also talk about what's happening on the server side of things when you're working with a web app. And we'll be talking about some of the modern architecture you run into when it comes to web apps. So I was just going to dive into the pen testing stuff, but I do think even if you do web app stuff now, it's easy to overlook the foundational aspects of web app basics. So I'm going to have a whole section in the course on that. Then I want to give you a high level overview of what web app pen testing actually is specifically how a pen test works. I'll walk you through what it looks like when you're working with a client and the different things that are in place before you begin the engagement. I'll also talk about how pen testing and bug bounty are different and how pen testing and red teaming are different. In order to define terms, I'll give you a brief overview of the legal docs that go into pen testing, such as SOWs and MSAs and rules of engagement. And I'll give you an overview of frameworks and methodology. Some of the big frameworks and methodology you should follow in a pen test so that you have a repeatable industry standard methodology, such as things through OWASP and of course quizzes. From there, I'll give you an introduction to Burp Suite. So if you've never worked with Burp Suite before, you'll be able to work with Burp Suite by the end of the course. And I'll give you an introduction to Kaido, uh, sort of a Burp Suite alternative that's a little more affordable. And the labs you'll be able to do with Burp Suite or Kaido, but I'll we'll cover both Burp and Kaido in the course. Then we'll have a whole section on information gathering. So in the beginning of your engagement, gathering information about the web app and things you might wanna dig into. Then we'll talk all about authentication, both what is authentication, but also how to test some of the big authentication things that you need to test during an actual engagement. Then we'll talk about authorization and specifically testing authorization for lateral movement and privilege escalation via IDOR, mass assignment, endpoint guessing. That's just doing basically directory brute forcing and going to an admin URL and be like, oh, I can actually access it messing around with HTTP methods, changing it from a get to a post. Maybe you can send data as an admin, bypassing UI restrictions. I see this all the time where an option in the UI will be grayed out, but you can literally right click inspect with JavaScript and then change the element and then access it. So we'll talk about that, but things I legit do in real web app pen test. We'll talk about session management, specifically session fixation. We'll talk about how to test for session timeout because that is something you report on a pen test if the, if the session lasts too long. We'll talk about session expiration, that when you update your password, the session should expire. When you change your email, the session should expire. Those are things that you would report on a pen test that people often overlook. Same with password and email updates. Every time you change like your email, it should ask for your password, your current password, just little things like that that you may not think about but to holistically do web app pen testing, you need to check on. We will then have a whole section on server side attacks, things that you may have heard about. You can kind of look through those, but things that I test for on every single web app that I am doing. And then an entire section on client side attacks, everything from HTML injection to different forms of cross-site scripting to CSRF to click jacking to cores misconfigurations. There will then be a custom full capstone challenge at the end to take everything that you learned and put it into process or into, into not process, but put it into practice rather. I guess I can close the search thing. 
And then finally, I'll have a section on career advice. And this is more like, hey, me and you are sitting down, let's say at DEF CON, and you ask me, Tyler, do you have any career advice for me? And my answer is yes, and I'll break that down for you. So I'll be giving you a pen testing roadmap if that's the career you wanna get into. I'll talk about what a day in the life of is in a web app pen tester role. I'll talk about how to grow your soft skills because those are incredibly important as a client facing security consultant or pen tester. I'll talk about how to network with people, like how to build genuine relationships and not just use people. And then finally some learning next steps. So this is my largest uh, course, I think that I've made so far because I haven't even added the little sections for labs, Well, there'll be labs all throughout it. Now I will say that I think I will end up building a more uh, advanced web app pen testing course. This is more of a I don't even know the name, to be honest. Uh, it'll be something like Foundations of Web App Pen Testing, but very much that junior web app pen tester to get you started. So there's some advanced attacks I'm not covering yet, but they may come in another course.